Hey everyone, Cody Bugen here over at Vestrite. Today I'm gonna to talk about how wealth is built through timing. Real wealth often is built through timing. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna use myself as an example and, and how it relates to Vestrite and our courses and what we teach and how you can you know, bring value to this space and with very little risk and very little capital and, and make huge returns and how that strategy protects you in the market trends, right? So if we, if we head into a down market based upon your limited exposure, okay, that you should be able to quickly pivot and shift to make what you're doing relative to the economy or marketplace that we're in at that moment or in that time. So let's go back to my story. So I got into real estate, you know, land development, home building, doing land deals, all of that in 02. And 02 through 07 made a lot of money. I was in my mid twenties, thought I was the man. Today I can look back at myself and laugh about it and call myself that I was a snot-nosed punk kid. But the mistake I made during that time was that I didn't continue to grow and get educated and try to become the best person I could be, become the best businessman I could be, put the right influences and people in my life and around me that had been there, done that, and that so that I could make good solid decisions. So anyways, I had all that success, thought I was, you know, thought I was the stuff. And then 07 happened. And I got absolutely slaughtered in 07. Now I didn't go bankrupt like a lot of guys around me did, but I lost a substantial portion of my net worth. And, you know, company's balance sheet just got destroyed. Our bottom line on our P&L was just out the door. And we just, we got whooped on. Well, what really whooped on us was the deals that we were pretty far over our skis on, right? We had, you know, we were under construction. We had a bunch of debt. We had a bunch of capital invested. And because of that exposure, when the market turned and it turned sharp and hard, it, it, um, it just slaughtered us. Well, so here's where wealth is built through timing and here's where I made a mistake. And as before I go into that, I wanna make sure it's very important that I share that I don't really believe in regrets. Um, I am thankful I went through that downturn. I am thankful I got whooped on because it made me a better man today. Is, is I learned so much more money losing it than I ever did making it. And I am now that much more of a warrior. I am that much more of a, a businessman. I'm ready to battle. I just, my skin's thicker, my armor's thicker. And I just, I'm just a better man because of it. So here's though what happened. I was so focused on surviving, keeping my head above the water, like making it through it that I, you know, dealing with the assets I had and repositioning and personal life and just all of that, that simultaneous to focus on surviving and making through it, I should have had, I should have been taking down all the opportunities and put myself in a position with investors or whatever, where I could have been picking up those distressed deals. I often call it blood in the water, blood in the streets. Sorry if that offends you, uh, but I was spilling blood in the streets left and right when I went through that. But I should have been picking up those opportunities. I can think of a specific project where the lots were worth about 200 grand a lot before the downturn. And then um, through all of that, in the downturn, when it, kind of near the bottom, it, those lots sold for around, I think it was 30,000 a lot. And that's where some real, real wealth can be built because you pick those lots up at 30,000 and you hold on to them just for even a few years. You know, those lots today, and this is 
but my point is those lots today right now are probably 225 but the real wealth is built in my opinion buying in the low and selling in the high before the education i've gone through i thought all the money was making made on the on on just on the up curve on the high and, 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 you know, just operating during that time, buying and selling, buying and selling, you know, or, and I've really come to realize the real sharp guys, the guys that have a lot of capital, the guys that have done, generate amazing wealth, they often are buying in a down market and selling in, 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 a, in an up market, right? So... You know, as we are, you know, we're in a hot market right now with interest rates and all the things the feds are doing and, you know, this, we're, the market's on fire. I mean, can it continue at this pace? I, don't, I just don't see how it's possible. Do I think we're going to have a downturn as dramatic as last time? No, I don't. I think that the fundamentals are different, but I do think at some point there is a downturn coming. I actually think there's quite a tidal wave sitting out there just waiting to hit shores. Uh, and the feds are doing everything they can to try to hold that off. Uh, and they're doing that through what we call helicopter money, right? All these checks they're sending out, all this money they're printing, these low interest rates. They've created this, what I call an artificial marketplace. And for all I know, maybe the feds can pull it off. Maybe they can get us all the way through the other side of this without us ever feeling the effects of what has truly happened. And if that's the case, well, it is what it is. But here's the thing. If you don't get into actually closing on the land, pulling the a and loans, putting up the substantial down payments capital needed for those loans, and you're more you know, going out, taking our teachings, putting together the raw land deals, off-market deals, knowing how to structure those through your education that we've coached you on. You put those deals together and you, and you, and you exit them, you, you sell them, you assign them, or you do simultaneous closes. We have numerous phases. You've heard them in different videos. We have numerous phases of where you can exit and when you can get paid. And your exit point and your payday point are two different things. But I'm not going to get into that now. But the point is, is that those teachings is that you're not gonna be way over your skis. You're not gonna have all this debt. You're not gonna have all this capital invested into the down payments for these loans and taking title to these properties and developing them. And so as the downturn happens, you can pivot quickly, you can shift. You're not gonna get destroyed. And you can then start looking for the opportunities where the distressed opportunities are where you can put together great deals and you still don't have to have a substantial amount of capital or risk. You're just shifting. You're just pivoting to now seeking out these opportunities that exist based upon the market we're in at that time or where the market is headed. And then you still, you can bring those deals to developers like myself or whoever and still you still bring the value that we preach about all the time because you're the one that found the deal and put the deal together and put it together correctly with the appropriate structure. So the biggest takeaway here is, is, is that fun, some really fun, exciting things can happen actually in a down market versus an up market. And you as a land acquisition specialist is what we call you as a certified land acquisition specialist once you complete our course and go through the process with us is you can, you can, you can create some phenomenal paydays in an up market or a down market. And the thing is, is, is that you aren't going to take some of the beatings that those developers <laughs> might take when the market shifts. So anyways, I hope that is of some value and, and it's really what's exciting um, about, uh, about these strategies. So with that said, take care. I appreciate being a part of your journey. I appreciate you just allowing me to speak into your life in one way or another. And, and the little nuggets you can pull from these videos or through spending time with us means the world to me. So anyways, appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.